Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple TCP server using Swiftforth. So today I'll be in this directory right here. We set it up in the previous video. So if you're not familiar with that, uh, go watch that video. But real quick, I'll just open up this file tcpip.f and this file basically just includes other files. So it's going to require ip.f, uh, udp.f, and tcp.f. So this file will kind of load it all up. And if we go back a directory, we can see that we have the ip.f. So we can, can open that up. And this contains pretty much all the code you need to get a TCP server up and running. So you've got your, your bind function, uh, your socket, and some other useful functions. And at the bottom of the file, you will have some notes on how to create this, but I'll just show you how to do it real quickly and easily. So up here is where you will find the documentation uh, this part right here is pretty much what we will be doing we'll just be using their terminology and and this setup right here but if you want to read you know all this stuff you can do so so real quick i'm going to enter into swiftforth and what we're going to do is um let me see here. Let me cd into, uh, let's do it this way. Let's go into this folder and then start Swiftforth and you can just type in include tcpip.f and there we go. So our library is loaded the ip.f is loaded and those other um, useful TCP functions are also loaded. So to use this library, all we need to do is define a socket. So I'm going to define a socket called my socket. I'm going to hit enter. And the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to set up that TCP uh, server. So I'm just going to type this out. I'm going to use our socket that we created. We're going to use this function called tcp-socket. And we're going to set our port, which in this case, it will be 5005. We're going to type in the word server. We're going to bind. We're going to listen. And we are going to accept. So whenever we hit enter, this will be blocking code. So we will no longer have access to our keyboard because our server is waiting for a request. So what we do is we can open up a new tab. And I've already typed this in earlier, but you can use your local host. Just type in curl and we're going to do a post. We're just gonna send the string hello to our port 5005. Hit enter. And when you come back to Swiftforth, you will see that uh, our code is unblocked. So that means we probably got something and we just need to read. So to read this, you um, point this to a buffer, which in this case is pad. You can type in 200 TCP read and you'll get an OK. So what we can do is we can dump 200 bytes and we can see that we have our post request. So over here, we send it the word string hello and it shows up over here. So this is a pretty uh, simple way to get a server up and running and to get a request and you can 
uh, put this on any laptop. If you have two separate laptops, you can definitely start sending requests uh, between you, yourself in a private network. And with the function TCP read, you don't have to put 200. You can just uh, put any type of uh, number that you think will handle your request. So I could, you know, do pad, you know, 100 TCP read, and it will read 100 bytes. But you may have to, you know, run your command over and over again, depending on how long that request is. And if we go back to our options directory, we can see that we have a file called tcp.f. So what I can do is open that up. And this is a important file to look at if you want to learn how to send and receive things, how it's done and forth, or in this case, switch forth. If you go to the bottom, you can see our function tcp read takes an address, which in this case, we supplied it with pad and just a number of bytes. But we have a better function called TCP read X. And up here, that says that uh, it will read the exact length. That way we don't have to do any buffer manipulation. It'll just do it for us. So that's a good one. And we also have the ability to write. So if you want to, you know, look around and play around, uh, that's kind of a basic overview of how to use the TCP functions. Uh, using Switchforth. So if you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.